Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Shay, short for Shaylee, and you have not missed much. Today's video is giving you guys an explanation on why I have not put out any content for the last five months after trying to start my channel at Christmas 2019. So five months ago, yeah. It has been five months since I've put out any content. I put out one video. So, hello, welcome to my channel. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching if you are interested in why I was absent for the last five months. So, get comfy, go and get yourself a snack, and let's get right into the video. To sum up, five months worth of reasons and excuses as to why I have not started my channel yet. I uploaded my first YouTube video and it was a Christmas video. Anyways, I uploaded that video five months ago. Uh, I think it was in late January. So I uploaded that video. If you see me looking down, I've made a whole bunch of notes and I've still probably forgotten something so don't mind that. I tried to remember as much as I could and make some notes so that I didn't leave any details out for you guys. Basically I uploaded that video and I was all excited with the response. I got a few subscribers, I got comments, I got likes so I was super 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 excited. Then I made a what I got for Christmas 2019 video and just before I uploaded that video, my mum accidentally spilled coffee all over the table and all over my laptop. It took about a week before my laptop decided to just die. But yeah, it died and that was probably four and a half months ago now. It has been a long time since I've had a laptop, so not having something to edit on was driving me insane. Bear with me in my voice because I don't know what's happening. It is like six o'clock at night and I look like I've been up for four days straight, but I'm just exhausted. I will get to that in the video a bit later on, but bear with me, my voice is just crackly. So I'll I'm not going to go into too much detail on everything because this video is going to be super freaking long. But I made another video to get up. It didn't get up because my laptop died and I was lucky that when it did happen I cleaned off the laptop and then all of a sudden randomly one day it just decided to stop working. So I was trying to like quick thing ways that I could edit my videos because in my what I got for Christmas video I explained that my mum and my brother bought me a new editor for Christmas. I was so freaking excited to get that editor that I did that video, the Christmas video, got that up, got that out, was so excited to start making all these other videos, bought myself a vlog camera, got all excited for that, and I now have a much better camera and I am so thankful for it. It was my birthday present this year from my boyfriend and oh, I'm so excited, but I will also get to that in a bit. So, how am I going to edit my videos? How am I, I've got all these videos filmed that I was planning on getting out. How am I going to edit them? What am I going to do? I have an iPad, but it was broken. So I'm like, all right, you've got an iPad. How about you buy one of those laptop cases for your iPad? Get your iPad screen fixed, and it's cheaper than buying a new laptop. That'll be awesome. That'll work. Sweet. It's Apple. It's got to work. Why not? I went and got my, my iPad fixed. I was so excited to get that damn thing fixed. I ordered the case. The case came and the iPad was fixed. Yay. I'm going to be editing my videos on my new editor. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get up some new content for you guys. No. Of course not. My editor does not work on an iPad. So, once again, back to square one, trying to find a way to edit the videos. I was trying everything iMovie. I can use iMovie, but I'm also 
very, 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 very particular and I'm picky and I'm a perfectionist. So when it came to using iMovie with my videos, not being able to like split and cut up, it was just, it's very, very basic and I couldn't be bothered with it because I used it all through school and I just didn't want to use that for my videos. So iMovie was a huge possibility, but for the quality of my videos that I wanted to put out for you guys, I did not want to use iMovie. After that, a couple more things happened. I moved jobs, I was working a whole lot more because I'd started a new job. My One of my really, really, really close friends passed away and I've never lost anyone close to me before and it really hit me pretty hard. So for a couple of months after that, I was pretty, pretty in shock about it all and was pretty upset about it all and it took me a while to get over that because that was like my first really close loss of a friend. I mean I've lost family members before and again that's so so sad and such a sad time and losing a friend who you've kind of grown up with and not being able to go around to her house or anything anymore <clears throat> because she was one of my really close friends and one of my limited amount of friends. It was so, so sad for me and I really took it on really heavily. And I'm going to move on from the subject before I stop crying. I also tried editing on my phone. I didn't really like that either, being the perfectionist, perfectionist that I am. And I also tried editing on my boyfriend's computer, which was working but it's his computer so I was kind of letting him use it all the time whenever he wanted to use it and I didn't want to like ask because like he would be more than happy for me to use it and I was using it when he was at work I don't know editing on a big TV it just I don't, know, I don't even know how to explain I really don't it just wasn't it After all of that stuff, got a new job, all of that, um, Corona hit, maybe a month or so later, Corona hit. <laughs> we all know, obviously, what Corona has done and is still doing to the world and what may continue to do to the world for God knows how long. And for a while, while Corona was going on, I still kept my job. I was so grateful that out of so many people, I got to keep my new job during this crazy insane time as much as I didn't want to be out there putting myself out there and working I also was really honored to be able to help in that time and I was very very cautious my workplace is a very very social place so we were taking the utmost of precautions and just everything I was really grateful to be working then I got laid off for a couple of weeks I still had to get a new laptop I didn't have any more money coming in to go into savings to get a laptop. So basically, square one once again. <laughs> so I didn't want to spend my money recklessly and go out and buy a computer. A couple more things happened after that. The shops weren't open. I couldn't leave the house to buy a laptop. I didn't really want to buy a laptop online because I couldn't physically see it in person and see what I was buying. But then I found out recently that I have low iron levels and if I go back in all of the other vlogs that I was taking earlier and previously in the year, I literally say in every single one of them and I was going to say it today but I'm going to point it out now instead that I look so tired and so exhausted. I was constantly mentioning that I looked exhausted, I was so tired at this at that. I'd had so much sleep but I didn't know why I was still tired, why I look like this. I constantly have black rings around my eyes. I am just constantly exhausted and fatigued and I did not know why. I went to the doctors, I got some blood tests done and everything and I found out that I am low in iron. So I now have to take iron tablets to try and get myself back on track. But that is more than likely the reason why I'm always tired and I, why I always look tired and don't mind this ginormous pimple on my forehead. It is so sore. 
just to point it out before anybody else wants to point it out in the comments. Then my birthday came around, 31st of May, save the date for anyone who cares. I got spoiled rotten. Spoiled freaking rotten. It, this may not seem like spoiled to some people, but to me this was spoiled. I got a new sewing machine off of my mum and I was so excited because she asked me what I wanted and I actually told her I wanted a sewing machine because I started my Depop, link in the description if you would like to shop my Depop. I've had a fair few sales since I started so it's very exciting so follow me on there if you have your own Depop and I will always follow you back. So I started my Depop and I asked my mum for a sewing machine. I got a sewing machine and took a few weeks kind of off thinking about YouTube videos and filming YouTube videos and trying to work out how the hell I was going to edit them. I took a break and I started making all these different items for my Depop. They are now up on my Depop if anyone would like to go and check that out. Again, link in the description. That was really fun and really exciting to just take my mind completely off videos for a little bit and focus all of my attention on being creative and I just love being creative and artsy and then being able to share it with everybody else is so much fun as well. I have a video coming up of a DIY bleach tie-dye that I did that will also be available on my Depop once that video comes out so keep that in mind and subscribe if you would be interested in that video that will be coming out very very soon it's all filmed and all ready i'm ready to edit it i'm so excited but i'll get to that in one sec my boyfriend bought me this camera that i am filming with right now this is a canon m3 i was looking for the canon m50 but unfortunately i could not find in time before i bought this one i couldn't find one that would send to my address they were all mainly american based and would only send to America, i.e. Amazon. I'm looking at you, and you'll see in a video when I get my camera, I did unbox it on camera, and I'll probably insert that into a video. I'm just going to test out a whole heap of content at the moment, see what works, see what doesn't. I am not doing this in any way, shape, or form just for the viewers. Like, I am having so much fun making all of this content. I am so excited to freaking make some more because I have waited so long, and it's too long, too long now that I have waited to create all of this content for you guys. For my birthday, I went and spoiled myself. I thought it has been long enough. I've waited so long. I've saved up my money. I can afford to buy myself a laptop. Why am I even waiting other than Corona? In the end, I decided I was just going to buy one online because I had no freaking idea what I was looking for. I really wanted to buy a MacBook. I just couldn't bring myself to buy one just yet but maybe in the future who knows but for now I went and spoiled myself for my birthday and bought myself a 13 inch laptop I waited for this baby to come for two weeks and it was the longest two weeks of my entire life mum brought it in early in the morning I was asleep and she woke me up and I was so excited to get it and I was really wanting to unbox it with you guys on camera, but I literally looked like a foot. So I decided I did want to film it and I would just show you guys it now. After five months of not being able to edit my videos on my new editor, this is my new laptop that I will now be grinding on. Editing videos for you guys. This is it. This is it is perfect size it's such a big screen size it is so nice looking kind of looks like apple from a distance like looks expensive this thing was expensive by the way guys it's super thin i love it my laptop that died in the first place was a two-in-one touch laptop it was also a dell this is basically just the huge 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 upgrade from that and we can now edit. That's what it looks like. Exactly what I've been waiting for. I'm so 
freaking excited to be sharing my life with you guys from now on, providing you guys with heaps of content and constant content and in those five months, surprisingly. I did have a few messages from people. They were just asking like, where did I go? What's happening? When are the videos coming out that I was talking about? I kept posting on every time I thought I had a way to edit. I'd post on my Instagram and then I'd have people respond and then they were like, where's the video? So I really hope that in this video I've covered everything and for the people asking where the videos are and where I went and what was happening. I think I've covered it and I hope I've covered it for you guys. Alright, I think that that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will 100% be seeing you guys very, very soon in my next video. I hope I covered everything. If I didn't, please just leave me a comment down below and I will reply to you guys straight away, obviously. If you guys want to know anything else, comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end if you did and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!